What is up YouTube? This is Christopher Watson and I'm back again. Um, like I told y'all last week, I was gonna try to get a video put up this week. So, I actually bought a soldering iron, some capacitors, and I replaced the capacitors on the ECU. So, what you're gonna see next is me talking through the capacitor removal and installation of the new capacitor. So, here you go. Um, I already did one, you can probably see right there. Um, this is not my first time using a solder ring iron, but um, it's been a long time, like, I don't know, 15 years probably. But anyway, the first one, it turned out okay, but could have been better. So hopefully this, this second one will be a little bit a little bit easier and better to do. So anyway, um, like I said, we're going to try to replace some capacitors because I've been having an, an idle or bad running issue. So let's just see what we can do. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is actually heat up the solder on the ECU. Sometimes it takes a little bit. So this one, you can see it's kind of heated up. You can see how it's melted already. So we got to melt it to get the capacitor loose. Do this side too. And this, I mean, this isn't a fine point, or at least it's not that fine to me, so it's kind of hard to to kind of get it just right. But you got to be careful not to hit anything else. You know, what I was doing was actually kind of um, wiggling the capacitor kind of free on the bottom. While you're heating this up to kind of or it. I'm gonna turn the turn this sideways. This might not be the safest thing, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Hopefully, you can kind of see me getting kind of wiggling this one out, and there we go. We have it out. So this one, hopefully you can see that. Anyway, it's not in focus, but these, from what I can, from what I understand, is these capacitors um, definitely mess with or affect, not mess with. They affect the idle and other things with the engine. So. Um, Replacing these after a while is uh, detrimental because the car will just stop working sometimes. So we're going to see what we can do now. So I just took one of them out. Hopefully, I mean, I'm kind of jumpy and everything, but hopefully these don't, these little nicks and stuff don't really mess the board up. I hope not. Anyway, I tested these out. Um, tested these capacitors and they were testing wrong. I'm tested not in specs, so we'll see if the replacement will be fine. We'll see though. You have to put these in the right way, okay? You got to put them in negative with negative, positive, positive. So here's the fun part.
So you kind of do the same thing. You heat the solder up. And then push it through. Push the capacitor through. And you gotta be patient with this process because it's not it's not quick. So I just got the there we go. You see them coming through. And I got negative and positive lined up. And you just push it through. Shoot. Hopefully I don't push it through too much. There we go. So we have the two legs or pieces of the capacitor in. Now we're gonna solder it back together. And then that will be the end of putting one capacitor in. You don't really need a lot to get this solder back on. See very little. This is I'm not gonna lie, this looks terrible probably, so like I said I haven't done this in a while. And this angle is terrible. But anyway, you get the picture. Um that's one I got about six more to go so um but i wanted to show you guys like um pretty much how to to do this for the toyota mr2 um you guys can do this and it, you probably can do it better than me so anyway uh good luck i have you probably only saw a couple of capacitors or maybe one capacitor get removed and and uh replaced but you know i didn't want to go through the entire long tedious process um you got to be really careful with doing um, any kind of solder work with delicate ECU work um, and I probably wasn't the most delicate <laughs> I don't think I messed anything up but it was just you could just tell that um, you got to be kind of careful when you're doing stuff like this so uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is actually put the ECU back in the car um, and plug it up but before I try to tar start the car I'm actually gonna make sure to check all the boost and vacuum lines uh, to make sure there's no leaks anywhere and then I'm gonna fire it. Hopefully and with a whole lot of prayer we can have this car started and running. That's that's my prayer. So anyway like I said this is just a quick update kind of show you guys tell you guys what I've been doing what I've been up to. Um, hopefully this bad boy behind me will be on the road again um, shortly. I saw that pure function actually did the same thing with his ECU um, he said his MR2 was actually tripping and wasn't running right so he had his capacitor replaced and boom the car started running correctly so I'm hoping that that's what happens to me has any of you guys that own MR2's um, had this or experienced this kind of um, bad running with your car if you have, drop a line down below and I will comment and I actually, I would love to pick your brain. So anyway, thank you guys for checking this quick little video out. We will catch you in the next video. Peace.